Now we will discuss the mean value theorem. Look at the statement of the mean value theorem. The mean value theorem says if a real value function fx is continuous in the closed interval av, derivable in the open interval av, then there exists this symbol represents there exists then there exists a the point c belongs to the open interval ab such that f dash c equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a actually uh, the mean value theorem is quite a similar to the rollis theorem except two statement in the rollis theorem there is another statement the statement was f of a equal to f of b and there exists a point c belongs to f of c belongs to a b just that f the c equal to zero but in this present case of the mean value theorem the third statement is absent and the conclusion step is there exists a point c belongs to the open interval a b such that f the c equal to f b minus f of a divided by b minus a here f the c is not equal to zero so before understanding the mean value theorem we have to draw a diagram by this statement so number one statement says continuous the function fx continuous in the closed interval a b so we take two points a and b in the x-axis say so these two points are x equal to a and x equal to b and then we draw two lines parallel to y-axis this line and this line since the function f of x is continuous in the closed interval since the function is continuous in the closed interval a b so we can draw a graph between the points a and b so in this way this graph so number two statement says the function fx is derivable in the open interval the function fx is derivable in the open interval a b the coordinate of the point a and b are the coordinate of a is a f of a coordinate of b is b f of b from the derivability concept we get that means from the geometrical interpretation of dy by dx we get we can get the slope of the tangents that means if the function is the derivable in between a and b then we can draw so many tangents on the curve y equal to y equal to fx so you can draw the tangents like this like this like this so you can draw so many tangents in different ways the slope of the line a and b is f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a okay If someone asked where did you get the slope of the line fv equal to fb minus f of a divided by b minus a then you can get this one from the concept of slope of a line av is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 now among all these tangents all these tangents you can get at least one tangent which is parallel to this this line 
okay so we draw an another diagram to understand this phenomenon so this line is parallel to this line that means this tangent is parallel to this line okay and this line is a tangent to the curve at the point x equal to c which lies in between the point a and b so what mean value theorem says so what is the symmetrical interpretation of mean value theorem so we understand the statement from the statement of the mean value theorem that we get among the all tangents we get at least one tangent which is parallel to the line AB and this is the symmetrical interpretation of mean value theorem one more point is to be noted from this symmetrical interpretation is that since this tangent this tangent is parallel to this line therefore the slope of this tangent is equal to the slope of this line AB therefore slope of the tangent at point C equal to slope of line AB so this is equal to f of B minus f of A divided by b minus a that is f the c equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a now this proves the the conclusion step of the mean value theorem that means there exists a point c belongs to a b such that f the c equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so this is the geometrical interpretation of the mean value theorem.